Okay, that concludes the warm up for this after for session one. So if we could vacate the pool, please, girls, so that we can get this afternoon's session started. Girls, no more diving, please. So good afternoon and welcome to um, session one of the West District um, Long Course Pre-Snag event this weekend. All slightly different with us starting off in the afternoon. Two sessions to go today, finishing around 7.45 this evening. Before we get started, I do have to read the health and safety, so if I could have your attention for a moment, please. In the event of an emergency, a siren will sound and staff will direct you to the nearest exit. Please ensure you keep all fire exit areas clear. Take a look around and check where your nearest exit is. There's to be no glass items or outdoor footwear on poolside, and swimmers on leaving poolside should dry off and wear appropriate dry clothing and footwear. Stairways are to be kept clear. No mobile phones at all in the changing rooms, toilets or shower areas. Anyone wishing to take photographs or videos must complete the appropriate um, consent form at the meet entry desk, meet information desk, I beg your pardon, at the top of the stairs. Videos cannot be posted on unsecure club websites, but may be posted on secure club websites. You are asked when taking um, videos to focus as much as you can on your own swimmer, your own club swimmer, your own family member, and remember the rules regarding sharing that footage. Swimmers are asked to be at the marshalling area, which is at the rear of dive blocks one and two, at least 10 minutes before their own heat to allow this um, session to run as smoothly as possible. So, as I said, good afternoon and welcome to everybody, those of you joining us on live stream. My name is Jackie Smith and joining me is Stuart Stevenson. This afternoon we'll be leading you through the events um, during sessions one and two of this weekend meet. We will shortly get started. I'm going to ask the swimmers for heat one of event 101 to make their way to the marshalling area as quickly as possible. And the, and the heat swimmers for heat two. Um, as well please so our referees this afternoon are sheena mccall and ross stewart our starters are kim chan and rob barrett So we'll get started shortly with the female limited 18 400 meter freestyle. There'll be three heats in the first event. So we do have a number of reserves for um, a number of our events this afternoon. The reserves are asked to make their way to the marshalling area um, as if they were in heat one. So if you're at the marshalling area before the commencement of heat one, that will allow the marshals to uh, offer you a swim where possible. Thank you.
And off we go with heat one of the girls' 400 metre freestyle. Lane one, Sarah McGuffey, City of Glasgow. Two, Abby Henderson from Rutherglen. Three, Anna Campbell, City of Glasgow. Four, Kaylin Chan, Rain 96. Five, Lauren Dunlop from Dumfries. Six, Emma Imre, South Ayrshire. Mixture of ages in this one from 13 through to 17. Looks like the middle lanes have the best starts here. Up to the first turn, Anna Campbell, Kaylin Chan. Turning together. So, Sarah McGuffey, 13. Ayah behind us and Lauren, 14. Anna, 15. Kaylin, 16. Emma Emery, 17. Emma, uh, one of our para swimmers, involved in the meet uh, this weekend. Looking good here, lane three. Anna Campbell. 15 year old from City of Glasgow just nudging into the lead at this early stage of the race also going well lane one St McGuffey so she's moved up there and a little surge there towards turn at 100 metres some of these swimmers or most of these swimmers will be looking to secure times at Scottish Nationals in just a few weeks time up in Aberdeen So 400 free, always an interesting one to pace. Different swimmers have different race plans that uh, they will be working on. And we get some swimmers who go out quick and try to hang on. Others will come through in the middle part of the race or leave something for the finish. Of course, all the swimmers like to leave something for the finish. So it's still lanes one and three. Sarah, Anna, neck and neck at the moment. And it's pretty tight for second as well. And lanes four and five, Kaylin Chan, Lauren Dunlop. The quickest entry into this today is Anna Campbell, 4.56.87. So at the halfway point, we look at the clock there. 2.27.19. So it won't be a million miles away from entry by the current timing. You've always got to take into account the fact there's a dive at the start, which makes it quicker for the first half of the race, invariably. So Sarah McGuffey, 13 year old from City of Glasgow, going well at the moment. So the qualification time for 13 year olds is is five minutes 20 so that's sorry, that's the consideration time five minutes 20 54 qualification 5 11 20. so she's underneath that in her seed time but that time might not necessarily have come from a long course competition that could be from a short course conversion and it might not be a qualification for snags automatically it could be an entry so looks like she's secure already if that is her entry time um, and it also counts towards Scottish Nationals. Good little surge there in lane five. Lauren Dunlop, the free swimmer, she's coming through now. Still touching first, three quarters of the way, 3.44.52, lane one. It's been an impressive swim here in lane one. Sarah McGuffey, 13 year old city of Glasgow. She's maybe just nudging a little bit further ahead now. Come through lane five, Lauren Dunlop, 14 year old from Dumfries. And she's paced this very well. And has increased her speed just in the last 100 metres or so to move up there into second place. Going to the final turn. 4.21.52. Sarah McGuffey. So entry time, 5.09.90. So she's certainly looking good to take this heat. So Sarah McGuffey looking very strong. She'll not be caught at this point. Over in lane five, Lauren Dunlop still in second, but coming through in four, Kaylin Chan, Rain 96. She's looking good towards the finish as well. And Sarah McGuffey will take this one, a good time there, 4.56. 
11, so well underneath the five minute mark. 4.59.90 in second for Lauren Dunlop. Third place is Kaylin Chan, 5.01.02. And then 5.02.64 for Anna Campbell, City of Glasgow. Good swim as well, six. Very good swim there from Emma Imrie, 5.15.67. Coming home now, in lane six, Emma Imre. Six minutes and 31, just a fraction outside the six minutes, but a good swim nonetheless. Well done to all the girls. Moving on to heat two. And we move on to heat two of event 101. In lane one, Charlotte Craig, Ren 96, two. Rebecca Somerville, Ren 96, three. Ava Ross, City of Glasgow. Lane four goes Katie Gillis from Renfrew Baths, five. Hannah Lindsay, Hamilton Baths, and six. Lisa McNair, Sterling Swimming. So as uh, heat, per heat one, we have one 13-year-old, mixture of uh, ages above 15, 16, and an 18-year-old going in lane two. So taking the early lead, lane three, Ava Ross, the 15-year-old from City of Glasgow. They're in the center of the pool. And she'll lead the field into the turn after the first 100 meters. And doing so in a time there of 106.86. So a good 10 seconds faster at this stage than heat one. We'd expect to see a faster, obviously, on the basis of entry times for these girls. But the City of Glasgow swimmer, Ava Ross, continues the lead in behind her. Lane six swimming well. Lisa McNair from Sterling Swimming. Fairly tightly bunched, however, in behind Ava. But it is Ava that will take them into the turn. The 150 metres, 143.15 for Ava. Got a three to three and a half second lead now over the rest of the field. And if she can keep this going, it's all about what happens in behind her. But there is a long way to go. Ava will bring the field into the halfway mark, however. Sun glaring on the water there, looking lovely. And it will be Lisa McNair from Sterling Swimming, I think, will come in second, but she's being challenged for that by the Wren 96 swimmer in lane one, Charlotte Craig, Rebecca Somerville. In fact, Rebecca Somerville got that. Charlotte Craig, Lisa McNair in second, all behind the City of Glasgow's Ava Ross. Beginning now past the halfway mark, and the field's beginning to spread out. We have Ava Ross ahead, and three girls vying for second and third places. 13 year old Charlotte Craig, Rebecca Somerville, her teammate Rebecca Somerville, and Sterling from Sterling Swimming, Lisa McNair, over in lane six. So down we come to the 300 meter mark. 
And it is still our leader from the start, Ava Ross, with the battle for second place between Charlotte Craig, Rebecca's her teammate, Rebecca Somerville, and over in the other side of the pool, Lisa McNair. So Ava Ross comes in and turning at the 300 meters, 3.34.20, 10 seconds faster than the previous heat. It's Rebecca Somerville turning next, Char Charlotte Craig third, and Lisa McNair in fourth. So one just over under 100 meters to go. So Ava's entry time here, two, sorry, 4.52.91. So we're looking to improve on that. Okay, could the, the boys for event 102, the 100 meter backstroke, please make their way to the marshalling area. Thank you. So Ava has turned, she's heading for home now. In behind her, Rebecca Somerville, Charlotte Craig, and Lisa McNair. All three girls looking to get themselves into second and third places. Lisa's beginning to fall off the pace a wee bit. Ava's got 50, 25, less than 25 meters to go. She swam a cracking race out there all on her own. With the two Ren 96 girls battling for second and third place in lanes one and two. Ava Ross finishes in a time of 4.46.96. And it is going to be Rebecca Somerville just ahead of Charlotte Craig. 4.53.35 and 4.53.74 respectively. And that completes heat two. Just a reminder, we're looking for the boys for event 102 to make their way to the marshalling area, please. Onto heat three, this is the third and final heat of this event. Lane one, Lucy Hunter, Hamilton. Two, Perry Scobie from Sterling Swim. Three, Alice Cummings, City of Glasgow. Four, Olivia Caldwell. And five, Ella Cunningham, also City of Glasgow. Six, Emma Binney from Inverclyde. We'll get a range from 15 through to 17 here. Quickest time, 4.40, through to 4.50, so pretty close on entry between all the swimmers quickest to the turn there lane one, Lucy Hunter Hampton swimmer uh, swimmers in a line at the moment in these early stages so a quick heat in the last one it's about 105 and a half over the first 100 for the first heat so that was a very fast start there we'll see how these girls pace in comparison to that Lane three, Alice Cumming is just gonna. No, it's not, it's lane one. Oh, it's lane three, sorry, 107.00. So slightly slower than the than the first, than the last heat, you should say. They're all to swim for with these girls trying to gain their consideration and qualification times. So now it's lane four, taking the lead to Olivia Caldwell, City of Glasgow. So we have three teammates in three, four, and five. This should be interesting. Let's see how it comes out on top in that battle. All the City of Glasgow girls. It's lanes three and four at the moment. Alice Cumming, Olivia Caldwell. Who are now neck and neck as they approach the halfway mark. And it's lane three. Alice Cumming, 16 year old, City of Glasgow there. But it is really close 
at this point in the race. If we go one of probably one of five ways, I would say. So the consideration for 60 year olds. 43, 48. So it looks like Alice, the leader at the moment, is just a fraction outside that, about a second or so. So she'll be looking to get that time secured for Scottish Nationals. But there's really nothing in it between lanes two to five. So Perry Scobie, Alice Cumming, Olivia Caldwell, Ella Cunningham, all neck and neck here. And it is still Alice Cumming, Perry Scobie now. In fact, Perry Scobie's just taken the lead. So Sterling Swimmer now moving to the front. Perry, very good year in the breaststroke. She's uh, also shown that she is a freestyle swimmer as well. So she's moved up into the lead. Perry and Alice just a fraction behind in seconds. Coming through well in lane five now. Ella Cunningham, City of Glasgow. So we'll see who's got more as they go into the final turn. Still pays go before 10.35. Over 4.10.46, 4.10.84. So really nothing in it between the top three swimmers. And it's going to be a really tight finish here. Perry Scobie, Ellie Cunningham are the two. Ellie Cunningham is now nudged ahead over there in lane five. Looks like Ella Cunningham, just first to the flags here. And Alice Cumming has now had a surge towards the finish as well. And it's between these two who's going to take the touch here. Ooh, it is Ella Cunningham, 4.44.89. Alice Cumming, 4.44.97. Perry Scobie, 4.47.15. Four fifty-two was the consideration there for fifteen-year-olds. So Ella, well within that one. And we move on to event 102. This is the 11 to 18 year old 100 meter backstroke. This is heat one of five. In lane one, Michael West, Kintyre. Two, Jack Kivlahan, Ren 96. Three, Samuel Roth, City of Glasgow. Four, Yasin Hatab, Dumfries. Five, Rhys Ferguson, Ren 96. And six, Cole Murphy, City of Glasgow. 
the basis of Cole's entry time, we'd expect to see him out in front, and indeed he turns first, 32.79, ahead of Samuel Ruff and Yasin Hatab. So it is the City of Glasgow's Cole Murphy leading the field. It's all about second and third places here. Lane three in second at the moment. Samuel Roth, the 13-year-old from City of Glasgow, Cole Murphy's teammate. He's in firmly in second place. Third place is lane four. Yasin Hatab, 13-year-old from Dunfries. The old Cole Murphy finishes 108.20 in under his entry time. Lane three, 114.07. Again, under his entry time, and Yasin Hatab finishes in third place, 116.39. Seat two, all the boys 100 back. One, Murray Johnson, ran 96. Two, Max Buchanan, ran through Bath. Three, Jude Mowbray, City of Glasgow. No swimmer, lane four. Lane five, Lance McMahon, Helensborough. Lane six, Jack Morrison, Cumbernauld. Quickest entry, 108.90, Jude Mowbray. City of Glasgow swimmer. So, looks like... Lanes three and five, Jude Mowbray, Lance McMahon. And just a fraction ahead, Lance McMahon in the turn there, 34-0-0. And second, Jude, 34-2. A good swim here from lane three. Jude Mowbray, 16-year-old. Also going well over in five, Lance McMahon, 14-year-old from Helensborough. His entry at 112-40. And he is just a fraction inside of the qualification already, but we'll see what times he posts up here. And it's 109.03 in first there, Jude Mowbray in second, Lance Whitman 110.24 in third, Jack Morrison 113.13. to move on to heat three lane one finley bennett rutherglen two cole morrison sterling swimming three max miller western bartonshire four rory duncan south Esher, and empty lanes five and six so four swimmers 15 16 and 18 years of age and entry times 107 30 to 108 30 so the boys are heading dead into the turn after the first 50 meters and it will be lane one, Murray, I beg your pardon, start that again, Finley Bennett, the Rother Glen swimmer, 31.99, entry time 108.30. Still ahead of the rest of the field as he comes down to the halfway point in the second 50 metres. 
Starting to come back, however, is the South Ayrshire swimmer Rory Duncan over there in lane four. But this race, I think, we'll, we'll go to lane one. Finley Bennett from Rutherglen. Second will be Rory Duncan, South Ayrshire. And the Western Bartonshire swimmer Max Miller will come in third. Finishing times there 106.37, 108.41, and This is heat four, lane one, Daniel Henry, City of Glasgow. Two, Alfie Churches, City of Glasgow. Three, Gregor Skinner, Bonus. Four, Kyle Mossman, City of Glasgow. Five, Jamie Gilchrist, East Kilbride. Six, Alex Tinch from Stirling Swim. All close times on entry here from 105.80 through to 107.10. Great start there in lane four, Kyle Mossman, 15 year old from City of Glasgow. He'll be first to the wall here. 31.74. Second place at the turn there, Alfie Churches. 32.74. A really good turn there um, by Alfie in lane two. So he's drawing up a little bit. They're going well in four, Kyle Mossman. Just got his nose in front just now. It's been him, him and Alfie Churches coming through well as well in lane three. Gregor Skinner. And it looks as if just a stretch away from Kyle Mossman but coming back here in lane two Alfie Churches uh, but I think Kyle's going to take it he does 107.22 Kyle Mossman second Alfie Churches 107.61 third Daniel Henry 107.94 for Daniel And the final heat of event 102, lane one, Fraser van der Moulen, Sterling Swimming. Two, Rory Calvert, Grangemouth. Three, Adam Scott, Wren 96. Four, Logan van der Moulen, Sterling Swimming. Five, Thomas Ingalls, Western Bartonshire. Six, Adam Hill, Sterling Swimming. Two boys here with entry times under the one minute. Others will be chasing that. And our leader at the halfway mark is going to come from lane four. Very 29.77, 30.08 for lane three. So Logan van der Moulen leads Adam Scott at the halfway mark. It is still Logan just ahead of Adam, but Adam's coming back at him now. Right, that's the wrong way round. So Logan's coming through now, I beg your pardon. It's Logan van der Moulen now has the Good body length advantage and we'll finish there. 101.85, 102.32 for lane three, Adam Scott. And in third place, Fraser van der Moulen, 105.75.
onto the girls. Andrew Backstroke and lane one, Isla McBrien from Kingston. Two, Isla Russo from Renfrew Bass. Three, Evie Chan, Ren 96. Four, Alison Cole, Hamilton. Five, Sarah McGuffey, City of Glasgow. Six, Emma Imre from South Ayrshire. So it's a swimmer in two. Isla Russo from Renfrew, 13 year old, very good start there. 35 57 over the first 50. So she's looking out like a rocket here. Entry of 116.28. Um, quickest on entry is 114.70. Very good swim here from Isla. Looking strong here towards the finish. Coming through into second place. Addison Cole, Hamilton. So, very tight for third at the moment. But Isla Rousseau from Renfrew Bass will take this in the time of 114.46. Well, underneath the entry there. Second place, Addison Cole, 116.47. Third in lane three, Evie Chan, Ren 96. And this is heat two of event 103, lane one, Amy Dobson, Kingston, two, Sienna Melville, Sterling Swimming, three, Susanna Curran, Kilmarnock, four, Neve Brooks, East Kilbride, five, is Cara Broadley, Sterling Swimming, and six, Abby McMillan, City of Glasgow. Range of entry times here, 113 through to 117. With the early leads there in the center of the pool, lanes three and four. Susanna Curran, Neve Bricks. And they go into the turn. And it's lane four, 36, 23 against 36, 33. So Neve Brooks, Susanna Curran at the halfway mark, but coming out of the turn really well there. Lane three, Susanna Curran leading the field. They have 25 meters to go. And it is. The 16 year old from Kilmarnock. No one's doing anything to catch her. This race is hers. In behind her will be lane four, Neve Brooks. And then lane two, I think, in third place. It is indeed 114.10 for Susanna, 116.29 for Neve. And so. So I start that again, Sienna Melville, 117.37. This is heat three, lane one, Daisy Gildea, City of Glasgow, two, Isla Dobson, City of Glasgow, three, Emma Leggett, Hamilton, four, a teammate, Rachel McGavin, also from Hamilton, five, Ava Pettigrew, Cumbernauld, six, Eva Gordon, from City of Glasgow. One twelves and low one thirteens on entry. Quickest one twelve, twenty. Very close on entry times. A great start here by Emma Leggett. So it's the Hamilton swimmer first to the turn, 34.71. Second to the turn there, Isla Dobson. And it's maybe bunching up slightly now as we come 
the latter part of the race. <laughs> Wins two, Isla Dobson. Drawing up a little bit. Is still Emma Leggett in front. So she led from the start. Looks like she will take this. Unless there's a very late surge. No, Emma will take this one. Time of 1.12.30. Second place, Isla Dobson. 1.13.17. Third place is Eva Gordon. 1.13.74. One, Thea Glenn, City of Glasgow. Two, Caitlin Frame, Grangemouth. Three, Abigail Crawford, City of Glasgow. Five, Casey Dixon, Rotherglen. Six, Sophie Steele, South Ayrshire. And six, Gina Wren, City of Glasgow. The youngest swimmer in this uh, heat is the 14-year-old from Rotherglen. Entry time of 1.10.30. then 15 and 17-year-olds go in this. And at the halfway mark, it is lane three, 34-14. Abigail Crawford, the 15-year-old from City of Glasgow. Turning first ahead of Casey Dixon and Caitlin Frame. So it is still the City of Glasgow's Abigail Crawford leading the field. She's got a good body length and a half and is moving away from the rest of the field in the closing stages of her race. It's all about second and third place at the moment. The South Ayrshire swimmer, Sophie Steele, is in second. She needs to hold off the challenge from the Grangemouth swimmer in lane two. Abigail Crawford finishes there in a time of 109.52, ahead of South Ayrshire's Sophie Steele, 112.30, and Caitlin Frame, Grangemouth, in a time of 112.74, in third place. the fifth and final heat no swimmer in lane one lane two Safina Machen City of Glasgow three Zoe Crawford Falkirk four Emma McGavin Hamilton five Anna Tchenko City of Glasgow six Amber Hinton from Dumfries so Amber 14 year old and then we've got Anna 16 and the others are 17 good start here and oh, both lanes two and three Safina Machen Zoe Crawford Looking good. The first turn. Sophia Machen just with the nose in front. 34-11. Zoe Crawford, 34-16. Both these girls in the same age group in this event. Going mile over in six. Amber Hinton. 14-year-old from Dumfries. Looks like she's in third spot just now. Swimming very well. Coming through into the lead. In lane two, or holding the lead, I should say, Safina Machen and Amber Hinton with a very strong finish here, but Safina Machen will take this. And a time of 1.09.50. And second, Zoe Crawford, 1.10.91. And third, Amber Hinton, 1.11.10.
onto the male 50 butterfly. Three swimmers in this one, Cole Murphy in two. Steel Sedeker in three, Kel Saunderson in four. So that's City of Glasgow, South Ayrshire, South Ayrshire in that order. Very tight at the moment. Good start by Cole Murphy, but it's fairly close between the three boys. Looks like Cole Murphy just a fraction in front of Kel Saunderson, Theo Sedeker. That could be the finish order as they touch the wall. And it is Kel Saunderson, 36-8. Cole Murphy, 37-3, Dio Sterica, One, Callum Trainer, Sterling Swimming. Two, Aidan McCavish, Bowness. Three, Nur Ahmad, Ren 96. Four, Kyle Mossman, City of Glasgow. Five, Rory Keegan Ward, City of Glasgow. And six, Max Miller, West Dumbartonshire. Entry time's just over 30 seconds, but four or four of them are under 30 seconds. It looks like it's possibly lane one that's going to take the field into the... And he does in 29.66. That's Callum Trainer from Sterling Swimming. In behind him, Kyle Mossman, 30.31, and Aidan McCavish, 30.40. Are you one, two, and three? Heat three, lane one, Joe Carty, two, James Gillis, four, Alex Tinch, five, Thomas Ingalls, and six, Rory Duncan. Quickest entry here, 29.05 from Alex Tinch. And looks like James Gillis is in the lead just now, looking very strong. Coming up to the wall here. And 29.53, and it's Joe Carty who took that. In lane five, Thomas Ingalls the second, 29.87, and Rory Duncan, third, 30.15. We'll just we'll wait for these results to... Just confirmation. Whatever the previous heat was, lane two. Twenty nine oh three. That was James Gillis. Seat four, lanes one through to six. Gregor Skinner, Ben Montgomery, Rory Calvert, Cole Morrison, Guy Pelosi and Glava Singh. Good starts in lanes two and three. Ben Montgomery, Rory Calvert. And it looks like Ben Montgomery is powering through here. And he's looking very strong at the moment. Stilling swimmer. Ben Montgomery looking good to take this one. Let's see what time comes up. 28.31 from Ben Montgomery takes that one. In second, Rory Calvert, 28.72. Third, 
Clavia Singh, 29 17. It's their fifth and final heat in lanes one through to six. Logan van der Mullen, Alex Black, Adam Scott, Rooney Webster, Ewan Watson and David Landman. 26-27 the quickest on entry. Adam Scott, lane three. Looking very tight at the moment. Going really strong here is Logan van der Mullen in one. But alongside them, Alex Black, Adam Scott. Look good as well. But Logan van der Mullen looking strong towards the finish here. He takes it. 26-43. What a time there from Logan. Second place, Adam Scott, 27.40. Oh, we'll switch that round. Alex Black in second, 27.38. Adam Scott, 27.40 in third. Okay, this is event 105, this is heat 105. Uh, we have two swimmers, lane three, Addison Cole, Hamilton Baths, and four, Victoria Lubitska, Grange Mouth, empty lane two. 15 and 16 years of age, there are two swimmers, 33, 12, 32, 80 for Addison Cole as entry times. Looks like Addison has the advantage in the closing stages of this race. Hopefully the sun has gone in. I'm not glared by the water at the moment. And it is the Hamilton Bath swimmer in lane three, 34-30. Addison Cole finishing there in behind her. Victoria Lewinska in a time of 34-75. Two in one, Molly and Irvin Watson, two, Sophie Allison, three, Abby Millen, four, Mariana Patrick, and five, Olivia Colwell. No swimmer in six. Good start in one in the near side, Molly Irvin Watson, the free swimmer. Alongside Molly, Sophie Allison, also going well. And it's between these two, it looks like Sophie Allison might come through and take this one. And she does, 32.30 for Sophie Allison, the winning time. And Olivia Caldwell came through to take second. And Mariana Pat uh, Patrick in third. Seat three from lanes one through to six. Sophia McGinley, Anna Lee, Anna Campbell, Sophie Steele, we are Rafferty and Thea Glenn. Quickest on entry, 31.67 Anna Campbell, City Glasgow Summer. Looks like a good swim so far in, in lane three by Anna. And she looks to just be in the lead at the moment, possibly Sophie Steele in second. And that is the order. Anna Campbell, 31-21. Sophie Steele, 31-24. In third place, Anna Lee, 32-24.
This is heat four or five. Lane one, Kaylin Chan, two, Anna Tichenko, no swimmer in three, four, Emily Dickens, five, Abigail Crawford, and six, Emma Leggett. Very tight on entry here. Point two between all the swimmers. And going well at the moment, Anna Tichenko, City Glasgow swimmer in lane two. And she's pretty tight with the swimmers in four and five, Emily and Abigail. And also over there in six, we'll see who gets the touch. And it is lane five. Abigail Crawford who takes that, 31.87. Emily Dickens, 31.89. And third, Kaylin Chan, 32.31. Fifth and final heat. Lane one, Millie Colvin. Two, Caitlin Frame. Three, Zoe Crawford. Four, Sophia Machen. Five, Gina Wren. Six, Isla Dobson. Quickest here. Only sub third entry, Zoe Crawford. In lane three. Looks like one lane up, Sophia Machen. Going well at the moment between her and Caitlin Frame. I think Sophia might take this. She does, 30-59, Sabrina Machen. Second place, Caitlin Frame, 31-29. Third, Millie Colvin, 31-77. And now we move on to event 106. This is the boys' 200 breaststroke and heat one. Lane one, Kyle Rodding, Falkirk. Three, Nikolai Sisnit, City of Glasgow. Four, Lucas Craw, Rutherglen. Five, Tyler Morris, Stirling Swim. Six, Aidan Mooney, City of Glasgow. Some results now. The girls... 400 free in second in the 13 year old category Sarah McGuffey from City of Glasgow first Charlotte Craig round 96 girls 14 year old girls 400 free second the 14 year olds Abby Henderson Rutherglen first Lauren Dunlop Dumfries and 15 year old category third Olivia Caldwell second Ava Ross and first the gold Ella Cunningham all City of Glasgow swimmers. In the 16-year-old category, third, Kaylin Chan, second, Hannah Lindsay, first, Alice Cumming, and 17 to 18, third, Emma Emery, second, Rebecca Somerville, first, Perry Scobie. And back in the pool at the halfway mark, 122.74, Nikolai Cisna, uh, clear lead. Correction there in this heat. Lane five, we have Oliver McHugh. So that's Oliver McHugh in lane five, not Tyler Morris, as was previously announced. So Nikolai looking very strong here. 2.52.20 is the entry time. In second place at the moment, Lucas Craw, lane four. Sitting third over there, on lane six, Aidan Mooney. Nicolai Sisnet. So that's not Aidan Mooney, that's Angus Woods. I've got some late changes through my ear here, so apologies for those watching on the live stream and in the venue. 
So very strong swim here, Nikolai Cessna. Looking very good to take this one. And the two boys outside him are now quickening that stroke rate. Aidan Mooney over there in six. Looks to have something left in the tank towards the finish. But it's Nikolai Cisna first under the flags. Possibly just a wee bit outside that entry time. Well, Nikolai takes it 2.55.61. Second, Aidan Mooney. Well with an entry there. Kraken swim there for him. 2.56.73. And Lucas Shaw, 2.59.50. And third... Actually, that wasn't Edmund, that was Angus Woods. Apologies. One to heat to lane one, Rory Keegan Ward, City of Glasgow. Two, Kieran Brown, City of Glasgow. Three. Three is Marcus Blake, City of Glasgow. Four, Cameron Gill, Grangemouth. Five, Joe Jameson from South Ayrshire. Six, Finlay Byrne from Falkirk. Some more results, the boys 11 to 13, 100 backstroke. Third, Jack Kavlian, Ren 96. Second, Yasin Hatab, Dumfries. First, Samuel Ruff, City of Glasgow. In the 14 year old category, third, Max Buchanan. Second, Jack Morrison. First, Lance McMahon. 15 year olds, third, Kyle Mossman. Second, Finlay Bennett. First, Faisal van der Mullen. In the 16 year olds, third, Alex Tinch. Second, Jude Mowbray. First, Rory Duncan. In the 17 to 18 category, third Adam Hill, second Adam Scott, first Logan van der Mullen. Great swim here in the outside lane, Samuel Beatum. Sorry, Finlay Burn, I should say. Falkirk swimmer. 119.63 at the halfway point. Keeps this pace going. He'll be well with inside that entry, 251.90. And there's three boys in a row here. Fine for second position. Keenan Brown, Marcus Blake, and Cameron Gill. It looks like Kieran Brown now. Just coming through into second spot. Still out there in the lead, Finlay Byrne. As he goes into, goes into the final turn. 205.00. About three seconds ahead of Marcus Blake. And alongside him, Cameron. So a really good swim here by Finlay. The Falkirk swimmer there in lane six. 16 year old. So, from start to finish here, a really good swim here. Finley Burn, and he'll come through. I think he's underneath that 50 yet. Yeah, 248.89 for Finley Burn. Great swim there. In second place, 253.11. It's Kieran Brown and third Marcus Blake 
Spindle there getting a consideration time on Scottish Nationals as we move on to Heat 3. So this is Heat 3, Lane 1, Aaron Machen, City of Glasgow, 2, Adam Hill, Sterling Swimming and his teammate Ben Montgomery in Lane 3, 4, Kyle Connolly, City of Glasgow, 5, Niklava Singh, Scotia and 6, Samuel Beetham, Bowness. Just read out the results for event 103, the 100 metre girls backstroke, so 11 to 13 year olds, first place Eva Gordon, City of Glasgow, Second, Isla Russo, Renfrew Bass. Third, Sarah McGuffey, City of Glasgow. 14-year-old girls. First place, Amber Hinton, Dumfries. Second, Casey Dixon, Rotherglen. Third, Daisy Gilday, City of Glasgow. 15-year-old girls. First place, Abigail Crawford, City of Glasgow. Second, Neve Brooks, East Kilbride. Third, Gina Wren, City of Glasgow. 16-year-old. First place, Isla Dobson, City of Glasgow. Her teammate Anna Tuchenko in second place and Komarnik Susanna Curran in third. Seven to 18 year old girls, first place Safrina Machen, City of Glasgow, second Zoe Crawford, Volko Otter and third, joint third in fact, Sophie Steele, South Ayrshire and Emma Legel, Leggett Hamilton Baths. So we go back to the pool and it is lane four, Carl Connolly, the City of Glasgow swimmer, 117.66, just ahead of Ben Montgomery from Sterling Swimming. And in behind them is Adam Hill, also Sterling Swimming. So that's your one, two, and three at the halfway mark. It is still the city of Glasgow's Carl Connolly that has the advantage going into the final turn. It's just about just under 10 meters to go, five. He's gonna take the field in and turn and head for home first, 159.55. He has just under a two second lead from second place, Ben Montgomery, and in third, his teammate, Adam Hill. It is still Kyle Connolly. What can these two, two lads from Sterling Swimming do about Kyle's first place? Ben Montgomery really trying to pull in Kyle Connolly. Kyle has to respond now. Coming into the closing stages. Can Kyle keep his leads? Got half a body length. This is all going to come down to the touch. As Ben comes in, just beaten at the touch there. As Kyle Connolly, the lead from the start, 242.43, I beg your pardon. Ben Montgomery, 242.65. And third place goes to Adam Hill, 244.55.
And this is heat four in lane one. We have Aidan McCavish from Bowness. And in lane two, it's Jensen Basketeer from City of Glasgow. Lane, empty lane three, lane four, Tyler Stewart, East School Pride. Five, Harry Keogh, Ren 96. And six, Fraser van der Moulen, Sterling Swimming. And it is lane four, Tyler Stewart at the halfway, at, sorry, after the first 50 meters, 34.02, leading the field. The results for event 104, 15 year old boys, 50 meter butterfly. First place, Kyle Mossman. Second, Rory Keegan Ward, City of Glasgow. Third, Kyle Saunderson, South Ayrshire. 16 year old boys. First place, Ewan Watson, Renfrew Bath. Second, James Gillis, City of Glasgow. And his teammate, Joe Carty, in third. 17 to 18 year old boys. First place, Logan van der Moulen, Sterling Swimming. Second, Alex Black, Falkirk Otter. And third, Adam Scott, Ren 96. And at the halfway mark, it is the East Kale Bride swimmer, Tyler Stewart, 1.14.27. Too good to second lead for Tyler. Ahead of Harry Keogh from Wren 96 in lane five. Third place, the battle there looks like it's between lanes one and six. Aidan McCavish and Fraser van der Moulen. But it will be the East Kilbride's throw a Tyler Stewart who will take the field into the final turn, leading the field. Entry time 2.33.76 for Tyler, turning there 1.56.80 and heading for home. In behind him, Ren 96, Harry Keogh and third place, Aidan McCavish from Bowness. Tyler Stewart still leading the field, but watch Harry. He's moving fast through the water as we come into the closing stages. But I think Tyler's just, he's not just, he's going to hold him off. There's too much for Harry to do now. And it will be D School Brides, Tyler Stewart finishing there in a time of 2.39.30. Harry Keogh, 2.41.75. And third place goes to bonuses, Aidan McCavish in a time of 2.44.25. And as Jensen comes in, that finishes event 106, and we move on to 107, and it's the turn of the girls, 200 metre breaststroke. And off we go with the female 200 metre breaststroke. Four heats, and this is heat one. Lane two, Heidi Shaw, Ren 96. Three, Hannah McCaig, South Ayrshire. Four, Ava Steele, Falkirk. Five, Emma Patterson, City of Glasgow. Some more results. And it's the girls 50 year old. 50 metre, not 50 year old. <laughs> 50 metre butterfly. And uh, the 15 year olds category Gina Wren in third, Abigail Crawford in second, Anna Campbell in first. 16 year olds Anna Lee in third, Isla Dobson second, Millie Colvin in first. And 17 to 18, Caitlin Frame third, Sophie Seal second, Safrina Mitch in first. So back in the pool here we have Heidi and Emma 13, Hannah and Ava 14 and it's a good start here over in lane 5 by Emma Patterson Glasgow swimmer and second at the moment in lane 3 Hannah McCaig, South Ayrshire and in third it's tight between the other two girls it's Emma Patterson who will turn first here at the halfway point 
131.90. And a couple of seconds back, or 1.9 seconds back, is Hannah McKeek, 133.80. And third at the turn there, Heidi Shaw, 136.86. So we'll see what happens in the second half here. This can often change with the breaststroke as the race progresses. Emma Patterson still looking good. But Hannah McCaig, she's pulling away from the other two now into a fairly secure looking second spot. And she's, we'll see if she's got enough left here to challenge for the lead. Emma Patterson, 2.20.44 into the final turn. Her entry is 3.18.30. So at the moment, her entry is just a fraction outside consideration time for Snags, but she's going very well at the moment. Qualification. 200 meters of breaststroke in her age category. It's 309.80, consideration 317.39. So let's see what she can do here. Emma, Glasgow swimmer. She's looking very good for at least consideration. 308.96, great swim there from Emma. Come in second. Also, a really good swim. Anna McCaig. 3.13.88 so takes about a second off just less than that, off entry third is Heidi Shaw 3.23.53 we'll just wait to see what the final scores on the doors are, final times that go up here to move on to heat two of event 107 lane one out of east sterling swimming two amy dobson kingston three grace blair Falkirk otter four iona kellock dumfries five caviar shetty ren 96 and six tara mcintyre city of glasgow the youngest swimmer is uh, iona kellock they're in lane four dumfries summer entry time of 3 10 50 so we're looking at the range of 310.40 through to 3.14 for the girls in the water. Tight at the first 50. But it was lane one. A 16-year-old from Sterling Swimming ahead of lane six, 34, sorry, 43.57 against 43.86 there. Still, still fairly well packed, tightly packed. Let's keep an eye on Amy Dobson, the Kingston swimmer. She's got herself up alongside Ada East now. Lane six, Tara McIntyre continuing to swim well. But coming through, the Falkirk Otter swimmer, Grace Blair. Will be... Amy Dobson, I think, who will turn first here at the halfway mark. They're in lane two, 132.32, ahead of Ada East, 132.57, and Grace Blair from Falkirk Otter turning in third place. So it is still the 14-year-old from Kingston who is leading the field. Be aware that Grace is right on her shoulder. She needs to keep an eye on either side of her as they go into the final turn. She may just have lost the advantage to the Falkirk Otter swimmer, Grace Blair. 
difficult to see from this angle, but I think it will be Grace that will take the field into the final turn. Yet she does in lane three, 2.22.35, ahead of Amy Dobson and Ada East. So what can the other girls do to get themselves up and amongst the placings? Because at the moment, your one, two, and three are gonna come from lanes three, two, and one. Grace Blair has a half a body length advantage ahead of the Kingston swimmer, Amy Dobson, and in turn ahead of Ada East. But coming through strongly, Iona Kellock, the Dumfries swimmer. Is she gonna catch and get herself into the placings? Looks like this race is gonna go to the Falkirk Otter swimmer, Grace Blair. Her entry time, 3.10.40. She's just outside that this afternoon. Ahead, she finishes in first place ahead of Amy Dobson and Ada East. 3.12.86 for Amy and 3.13.07 for Ada. To heat three, lane one, Ada Broden, round 96. Two, Katie Watson, City of Glasgow. Three, Lisa McNair, Stirling Swim. Four, Victoria Weir, Falkirk, Otters. Six, Nina Spirit, Hawthorne, and Verclyde. Start in lane two, Katie Watson, City of Glasgow. Again, we've got a mixture of ages in this. In this heat here, Nina 14, Lisa 15, Victoria and Ada 16, and Katie 17. So all in their own races against the clock here. First to the turn in lane one, Ada Broden, lane 96 swimmer. Quickest entry here is 258.60 from Lisa McNair. Moment between lanes one and four, Ada Broden, Victoria Weir. Victoria's at a, a very strong 50, or almost 50 meters. As they come to the flags to approach the halfway mark. So Victoria Falkert Summer. 126.28. She's entry time of 300.5. Looks on course to be there or thereabouts that time. We'll see how much she's got in the second half. A good turn there, and a good transition coming right through it to move up towards that first spot. Lisa McNair, lane three. So Lisa is the quickest entry. She's the only sub three minute swimmer here at 258.60. So her consideration. I think she's already just about made that one. Uh, sorry, qualification 259.10 for 15 year olds, so she's already securing that. If that was at a credit to time, she's entered on. I'm going well outside Lisa there. Victoria Weir, Falker. And she's now had a surge here in this last 20 meters or so. Victoria Weir looking very strong. Victoria Weir and Smith Nair are the one two. So Victoria's already got a consideration. She'll be heading for that, aiming for that qualification time. Okay, she'll be the 257, but she'll just be outside that, but she's got a consideration. So a good swim, 3 0 27. Victoria Weir, Lisa McNair, 301.58. And Katie Watson, 305.36, that's her one, two, three.
So this is the final heat of event 107. This is heat four. Lane one, Rebecca Strachan, City of Glasgow. Two, Neve Quinn, Kintyre. Three, Ava Ross. Four, Kayla Smith. Five, Lula Milne, All City of Glasgow. And six, Kimberly Willis, Ren 96. So taking the early lead as the girls go down to the first turn. It's lane three. Ava Ross, 15-year-old from City of Glasgow. We've seen her already in the water this afternoon. On the head of the, her, the field. She's turning first there, 38-27. Second place, Kayla Smith. Her teammate. And it is still Ava Ross. She entered on a time of 2.48.70. So for a 15-year-old, she's well under the qualifying time for Snags. She's going to lead the field into the halfway mark. McIntyre swimmer Neve Quinn looks like she's in second place. Yeah, indeed she is, 124.31. And in third at the turn there, Kayla Smith. But it is still... Ava Ross, who has led this field from the start, leading the field down to the final turn. What can everybody else do to get themselves up into the placings here? If they haven't already got qualifying times or consideration times, that's what these girls will be looking for this afternoon in this 200 meter breaststroke. And it's Ava Ross who will turn first teammate Kayla Smith no I beg your pardon I think it'll be Neve Quinn that turns second she does ahead of Kayla Smith nine one hundredths of a second splitting second and third place but still Ava Ross looking very comfortable out there in the front of the field swimming fair at this race very strongly she isn't going to be caught it is all about second and third place and at the moment second place continues to be the Kintyre swimmer Neve Quinn coming up fast is lane five Lula Milne 13 year old from city of Glasgow but it's Ava Ross coming in to finish now 251.98 battle now on for second place but it will be the Kintyre swimmer Neve Quinn ahead of City of Glasgow's Lula Milne, 251.98, 257.42 and 258.54 for our first, second and third place swimmers. That concludes event 107 and we now move on to event 108. This is the 11 to 18 800 metre freestyle. We have two heats of this event. Okay, we're on to heat one of two of the 800 meter freestyle in lane one. Claire Wilson from Stirling Swim. Two, Samuel Ruff, City of Glasgow. Three, Daniel Henry, City of Glasgow. Four, Cooper Sloss, Red 96. Five, Andrew Patterson, City of Glasgow. And six, Ryan Crabb from Red 96. These early stages of the first 50. Claire Wilson got a slender lead there in lane one so closest to the gallery and to the camera if you're watching a live stream but as we know this is a marathon not a sprint so we'll see how, how these boys do as the race progresses so we've got a mixture of ages here Samuel Ruff is 13 
Andrew Patterson, Ryan Crabb 14, Daniel Cooper 15 and Blair 16. So 108-74 is the first 100 split time. So that's Blair Wilson from Sterling Swim, a second ahead of the rest of the field. So Blair went out fast there and he's staying out in the lead at the moment. Going well in lane three, Daniel Henry, the 15 year old from the city of Glasgow. So Blair, 10.04 is his entry. So the qualification in his category is 9.16 um, possibly heading more for the consideration time bracket, we'll try and get that for you so it's now lane 3 Daniel Hendry in the lead, 2.22.30 Daniel, 15 year old from the city of Glasgow. Entry time for Daniel, 9.38.64. So he's safe consideration, but the qualification there is 9.32.81. So he'll have his eye on that one. For everyone's information, doesn't know, the final entries for Scottish Nationals. The, the deadline, I should say, is Monday. So this Monday coming, the 25th of March. So this is the final meet for these swimmers to get these times. So it's been a strong 100 meter here. From Daniel Henry, the City of Glasgow swimmer. He's put his foot in the gas here. So it's 335.46. So about 111 pacing at the moment. In second at the turn there. After 300, Andrew Patterson is teammate from City of Glasgow, Andrew swimming in the 14 year old category so at the moment pacing round about 9.40 like mid 9.40s maybe 9.43, 9.44 or there, thereabouts the current pace continues These boys will be carrying out what they've been doing in training over this distance. It's, a, it's always a tough one, the 800 free. Coming up to the halfway point. Daniel Henry, 4, 49, 49. So a piece and run about a 114 for that last 100. So just dropping up a second or so from the previous hundred, so dropping the pace a touch. Still looking around about the mid 940s there, if he keeps going at this pace. In second position now is lane five, Andrew Patterson. And Andrew's 14 year old. So again, he's safe consideration time the 952 and to qualify outright 946 is the time the board to beat I have to go some just to meet that given that the the lead time looks around about 945 at the moment but things can change you know, things can speed up especially towards the final line when the swimmers tend to find a bit extra speed towards that finish It is the quickest on paper now, well clear. 
City of Glasgow swimmer Daniel, 603.63. So again, keeping a similar pace in with the 114 mark, so going steady just now. So some results for you. So the boys, 200 metre breaststroke, start off low range groups, so 13 year olds, Oliver McEwen third, Kyle Rodding in second, Jensen Basketer in first. 14 year olds, third place Angus Woods, second place Nikolai Sisnet, first Aaron Machen. 15-year-olds, Rory Keegan Ward in third, Fraser van der Moulin in second, and first place, Kyle Connolly. 16-year-olds, third, Kieran Brown, second, Finlay Byrne, first, Aidan McAvish, and 17-18, to 18, third, Ben Montgomery, second, Harry Keogh, first, Tyler Stewart. So if you hear your name read out, please go and collect your medals in the, at the medal table, just in the room you know, behind the pool there. So, see how this pacing is going here. 7.18. Now, at the 600 mark. And I think, yep. Just dropping off about half a second on that previous 100. So, just under the 115. 100 split there. So, Daniel, still looking very good here. He's well clear of the rest. It takes some for the other boys to catch him now. Cooper Sloss. Uh, sorry, Cooper's in lane four. And Andrew Patterson in five is the one closest to him. Let's see if Cooper's got anything uh, towards the latter stages. He's got quite a fast entry as well. Lane 45, 70. Youngest in this one, lane two, Samuel Ruff, entry 951.80. So you'll hear the bells going and end of this length because it's 700 metres, 100 metres to go. And again, round about just under 115 pacing there for Daniel. We think he would up the pace now if he's got something left over this last 100 metres. 8.48.82, second place time there. But well clear in front and he's led from the early stages, Daniel Henry, City of Glasgow. Into the final turn. 9.09.86. So he's going to have to do sub 30 seconds in this, this final 50 metres, which is a big ask over an 800. We'll see what Daniel has got left here. So Daniel Hendel, City of Glasgow, will take this. There's a great battle going on for second now between lanes one and five, Blair Wilson and Andrew Patterson. Daniel is going to take this. Nine forty-five, thirty-seven for Daniel, and was Andrew Patterson will take second. Nine fifty-one, eighty-seven for uh, for Andrew, and in third it is Blair Wilson. Nine fifty-two, sixty-seven. Fourth Samuel Ruff, ten o one o five, and fifth ten o four thirteen for Cooper Sloss.
So this is heat two of event 108. In lane one, Seamus Barbary, East Kilbride. Two, Tom Jeffords, Ren 96. Three, Gregor Skinner, Bo Ness. Four, Kai Connolly, City of Glasgow. Five, Nikolai Sisnit, City of Glasgow. And six, Fraser Gemmel, Sterling Swimming. So entry times here, 9.05 through to 9.30. I think we would expect to see the field spread out. Certainly in the latter stages of this 800. So after the first 50, it's the bonus swimmer Gregor Sweet. Let's start that again. Gregor Skinner, who is leading the field. He's got uh, Tom Jeffords and Kai Connolly. Right, uh, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, just checking something there. So um, I'll start that again. Lane one, Seamus Barbary, East Kilbride. Two, Tom Jeffords, Marin 96. Three, Gregor Skinner, Bo Ness. Four, Kai Connolly, City of Glasgow. Five, Nikolai Sisnet, City of Glasgow. Six, Fraser Gemmel, Sterling Swimming. And it is lane three, Gregor Skinner. After 200 metres, leading the field there at the turn. Right up alongside him is Tom Jeffords, a 16-year-old from Wren 96. And lane four, Kai Connolly. Kai Connolly from East Kilbride. A recent change of club, I believe, there, which uh, caused me to hesitate earlier. But it is still the bonus swimmer, Gregor Skinner, ahead of Tom Jeffords and Kai Connolly. So lanes three, two, and four are your leaders. And the boys are coming up to turn after 300 metres. Very tight at the turn there, and the lead goes to the Red 96 summer. A time of 3.24.40. Tom Jeffords now has the advantage over Gregor Skinner and Kai Connolly. In behind our top three is Nikolai Sisnit, Seamus Barbary, and Fraser Gemmel. So we're looking at uh, pacing around 70 seconds, just over 70 seconds for the last 100, a finish time of 9.18 or there or thereabouts. And it is the Ren 96 summer who continues to have the advantage as we come down to the turn at the halfway mark. Just turn away from the pool for a moment and finish up some, some results we have here. This is event 106, uh, the 200 meter breaststroke for boys, the 11 to 13 year olds. First place, Gentian Basketer, City of Glasgow. Third, sorry, second, Kyle Rording, Falker. And third, Oliver McHugh, Renfrew Baths. 14 year old boys, first place, Aaron Machen, City of Glasgow. His teammate, Nikolai Sisnit in second place and third place Angus Woods Kintyre 15 year old boys first place Kyle Connolly City of Glasgow second Fraser van der Moulen 
Sterling Swimming, third, Rory Keegan Ward, City of Glasgow. 16-year-old boys, first place, Aidan McCavish, Boness, second, Finlay Byrne, Falco Otter, third, Kieran Brown, City of Glasgow. Seven to 18-year-olds, first place, Tyler Stewart, East Kilbride, second, Harry Keogh, Red 96, and third, Ben Montgomery, Sterling Swimming. So we go back to the pool, and it is Red 96. Tom Jeffords, who has a couple of body lengths lead ahead of Kai Connolly. 5.44.80 there for Tom Jeffords. Looking at his entry time, 9.16.60. is very close to the um, no, he already has a qualifying time I think here but we're looking at a finish time of around 9.16.30 so very close to his entry time pacing there around 70 seconds a little bit slower in the last 100 than the previous 100 Two, 6 20 83 at the turn at the far end there Kai Connolly in second Gregor Skinner in third so Gregor's beginning to really fall away from the pace at the moment he can't keep up with our two leaders Tom Jeffords and Kai Connolly Tom Jeffords turn 6.56.42. He has just over a three second lead ahead of the East Kilbride swimmer, Kai Connolly. Gregor Skinner in behind them. Nikolai Sisner in fourth place over there in lane five. He'll be looking to get himself up into the placings. Nikolai is the youngest swimmer, 14 years of age, swimming for City of Glasgow this afternoon as we watch Tom Jeffords turning ahead of Kai Connolly Kai's closing that gap Gregor Skinner in third place have slowed on the pacing we're looking at a 919 finish 100 meters to go Tom Jeffords Kai Connolly Tom needs to keep this going Kai looks certainly having a go at challenging Tom's lead Fraser Gemmel in third Nikolai Sisnit in fourth Tom's looking comfortable out there in the front. I'm not sure Kai can do much about the lead that Tom has. Tom will go into the final turn. Leading this field as he has in the latter half of this race. Kai Connolly in behind him. Can Kai do anything to close the gap in this final 50 metres? Fraser Gemmel in behind, Nikolai Sisner in fourth. Nikolai will be trying to catch Fraser. Tom Jeffords looks like he has this race well and truly sewn up this afternoon. And he will finish in first ahead of East Kilbride's Kai Connolly. Nikolai's trying to get on pace with Fraser, but I think... Sorry, I beg your pardon, Gregor. And Gregor will finish in third place. My apologies to Gregor there. 9.18.27 for our winner. 9.22.37 for second place. And 9.28.48 for the bonus swimmer, Gregor Skinner. That concludes our 800 meter freestyle event this afternoon. And we move on to the final event of the... And we move on to the final event of session one today um event 109 the 200 meter im for females 11 to 13.
Okay, off we go with the final event of this session. The girls' 200 meter individual medley. Lane one, Isabella Gemmel, Grangemouth. Two, Casey Crisp, East Bride. Three, Cara Gray, Motherwell. Four, Ruby Hunter, Motherwell. Five, Melissa Rimmer, South Ayrshire. Six, Holly Walker, Cumbernauld. Great start over in the far lanes. Melissa Rimmer and Holly Walker in the butterfly leg. So, really good start here. And it's pretty close behind them. But it is by a fraction, Holly Walker, 38, 39 over 30, 50. So, just over 0.1 of a second into the backstroke. Well, we all love the individual medleys because things can switch up between the strokes and the discipline so much. And Melissa, South Ayrshire swimmer in line five, looking strong at the moment. On that backstroke, coming right through as well in lane one, Isabel Gemmo and two, Casey Crisp. So they've begins a little ground here over the backstroke leg. But Melissa has gone from second place and moved up into first spot as she comes towards the halfway. One twenty-seven twenty-six at the halfway point. Melissa Rimmer leads to the all-important breaststroke leg. Melissa still holding that lead at the moment. Casey Crisp and two is making up a little bit of ground here. Let's go Bride Summer, 12 year old. Maybe just nudging ahead, a touch from Isabel Gemmo. But Melissa Rimmer still holding this. So she's in leads after the backstroke and now she's moved further ahead. Probably a couple of body lengths up now on Holly Walker, the Cumbernauld swimmer. So, two yellow caps there on South Air Shimmer from Cumbernauld. First and second as they go into the final leg in the freestyle. So, this is where it starts to hurt. We'll see how much these girls have left in their arms and legs. But Melissa Rimmer, looking good at the moment. Holly Walker in second, but now coming right through. And two, Casey Crisp, East Coast Bride. And she is nudging up here and I think she could be moving into second place so Casey Crisp is gaining ground with every stroke I don't think she'll catch Melissa Rimmer who will take this but it's a battle for second so Casey Crisp looks as if she has moved up here and she'll take second Melissa Rimmer first 301.95 second 303.66 Casey Crisp and third Holly Walker 306.17 Good swims there, taking first, first two taking time off entry. Could be a reorganisation of the times here. A couple of the times didn't come through on the board. So, just waiting on these final results being confirmed. This is heat two of event 109. Lane one, Christina Grubb, City of Glasgow. Empty lane two, three, Josephine Paintin, City of Glasgow. Four, Ella Cray, Moren 96. Empty lane five. And six, Sandy Keddy, Cumbernauld. So two 12 year olds, two 13 year olds in this. And going really well on the first 50 is the Cumbernauld swimmer Sandy Keddy over there in lane six. She will turn first ahead of Ella Craig 
and Josephine Payton. Turning 36-78. Transitioning into the backstroke. Still leading the common old swimmer. Sandy Keddy. Ella Craig, Josephine Payton in second and third places. Just read out the results, so I turn away from the pool at the moment. The results for event 108, 11 to 13 year olds, 800 meter freestyle boys. First place, Samuel Roth, City of Glasgow. 14 year old boys, first place, Nikolai Sisnit, City of Glasgow. Second, Andrew Patterson, City of Glasgow. And third, Ryan Crabby, Ren 96. 15 year old boys, first, Fraser Gemmel, Sterling Swimming. Second, Daniel Henry. Hendry, I beg your pardon, City of Glasgow. Third, Cooper Sloss, Ren 96. 16 year old boys, Tom Jeffords, the Ren 96 in first. Second, Blair Wilson, Sterling Swimming. And the seven to 18 year olds, first place, Kai Connolly, East Kilbride. Second, Gregor Skinner, Boness. And third, Seamus Barbary, East Kilbride. So let's go back to the pool. The girls have transitioned into the breaststroke and it is still the Cumberland Old Swimmer leading the field as she has done from the start. A hell of, sorry, ahead of the Wren 96 swimmer, Ella Craig. And in behind her, Josephine Payton from City of Glasgow. Sandy turns, 2.17.05 into the freestyle and heads for home. Ella Craig has turned, Josephine has turned, Christina has turned. These girls are all heading for home. Looks like the finish will be 6-4-3 lane-wise. Sandy has led from the beginning. I don't think she can be caught as she comes into the closing stages of her 200 IM this afternoon. Second place will go to Ren 96. Ella Craig and third one from City of Glasgow Josephine Payton and in comes Christina to finish her 200 IM this afternoon as we move on to the final heat of the session one this afternoon Okay, this is our third and final heat. One, Elsa Chand, East Coast Bride. Two, Jessica Simpson, Lark Hall. Three, Eva Gordon, City of Glasgow. Four, Iona Kellock from Fries. Five, Ellie Maher from Hamilton. And six, Heidi Shaw, Ren 96. So, all swimmers here. 13, 13 or under. Elsa is 12, there's the 13. Happy start here in lane three, Eva Gordon. 32.90 over the 50 fly there. She goes into backstroke, so well in the lead, about three seconds up there on the fly. Eva is the quickest entry, it's 2.41.24, so already secured that qualification. So she'll be. Swimming here, you would think, for other reasons rather than snags, just to get another better time up there on the boards. The rest of the fields are having a battle between them. Ilsa Chant in one from East Coast Bride, the 12-year-old, looking good. Over this backstroke. 1.14.58 was the time up on the board after 100 by Eva Gordon. 1.21. Ilsa Chant. 123.54 for the third place time at the moment as we go into this breaststroke, stroke gaps sometimes start to appear or close over this leg but well in the lead here Eva Gordon her entry time suggests that she should take this one comfortably about 11 seconds ahead of the closest swimmer I want a Kellogg on entry 
13-year-old uh, from City of Glasgow. Turns on 2-4 into the freestyle. So she will not be caught at this stage. A battle for second and third. Fairly secure second, you would think, is Elsa Chan, but we'll see what happens. We're well in the lead. Eva Gordon. Then Elsa Chan. In third place just now, Jessica Simpson. So one, two, three, Jessica trying to chase Elsa down here over the final stretch. Don't think she'll catch her now. But well clear, Eva Gordon. And it's a time of 2.42.90 for Eva. Second place, Elsa Chand. Entry of 2.56, so 2.49. Well within that time, a great time for her. Third place is Jessica Simpson, 2.53.08. Okay, so that's the session concluded and we have more to come later on but we'd like to thank all those watching on live stream for joining us in this session and we hope to see you back here uh, it's about quarter to six or so will be session two so thanks for tuning in and we look forward to seeing you virtually seeing you later on